Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So as you can see, we are now in the x Not Fortress. Ooh. So this is one of the last dungeons in the game? Let's get started, shall we? Please insert the elevator key. But I don't have the elevator key. We'll have to find it. Oh shoot. I should probably hammer these guys instead of jumping because of their defense. Oh, hi, he has a boo sheet. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. Now we can finally show off Kiss Thief. Yes! Barely got it. And I stole his Bushi. I am running low on to HP. <laughs> That's a bit of a problem. Ah well. Let's get out, Vivian. She's useful. Feels pretty good damage against these guys, and the burning effect will actually really come in handy. I think that's the first time we've seen any x knots use that move. And now we can just finish him off with our hammer. Get out of here. I really like this world. It's pretty awesome. Oh. So now we've got to walk along this in that exact order that it was outlined. Because if you step on something that's not that wasn't outlined, you get electrically shocked. And we get the elevator key, a card key that operates an elevator in the x knot base. And now the power turns off and we can walk anywhere we want. Super Shroom. Nice. And here we go. And this key will let us take the elevator to any of the floors that it reaches. Choose your destination. So we'll go to sub-level 1. That's down one floor. So this is kind of cool how it's like... You had Peach, uh, who went for this area, and now we're going for it as Mario, and we get to see all the differences. Oh, shoot. Forgot about the first attack badge. I may have killed some enemies I didn't want to right away. Oh. Yeah. Gears under repair. So this is a claw machine. There are two badges and a star piece up there, and unfortunately we can't operate it right just yet. Goodbye, x knots I didn't want that guy to use his fire flower on me. Please enter the access code. Uh... <laughs> Dupless. That's gotta be it, right? <laughs> Incorrect access code. Alright, looks like it was a mistake to go to sub-level 1 first. So I'll be honest, I've only reached this part of the game once or twice, and it was a while ago, so I don't really remember uh, exactly how this dungeon goes. Let's go down to sub-level 2. I do remember this dungeon's pretty lengthy. Oh, hey you! He's got Ruin Powder. We got a Tattle on that guy. That's an x not PhD. Guys like this invent all the annoying things we fight. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. He likes to throw beakers of chemicals. The chemicals do all kinds of stuff, like making things huge or burning people. He may also use potions to heal himself or make himself impossible to hit. x PhDs are really annoying, so take them out before they boost themselves. 
That guy also has Ruin Powder, and I am not eager to deal with that, so yeah, goodbye x not PhD. <laughs> We need to heal Mario up a bit, so let's use the Super Shroom. Well, thank you for doing that. Because I can take him out this turn. And let's see, what else can we give Mario? Let's give him the Icicle Pop. Actually, we can use that on Goombella. Works the same way. 15 FP? Okay, that doesn't do at all what it says it's going to do. It says 10 HP, and actually, it's 15 FP. And appear apparently freezes us normally? But because we have Defend Plus, I guess it didn't freeze us? Oh, hey, and Ruin Powder. Sweet. Confuses all enemies. And okay, to get across this floor, you can look in the background. The pink... Uh, that rectangle in the background, that outlines the entire map. The purple stuff is the one stuff you want to walk on. So if we just walk out here, that happens. And that does damage you. But if we follow the purple path... Bada bing, bada boom! We get the card key! A card key that opens a door in the x not base. Sleepy Sheep? Wow. That's a dated item. Those weren't even good at the beginning of the game, let alone at this point. And you remember this. This is the room where we made the... Uh, oh, ouch. This is the room we made the Invisibility Potion. Ooh, he has a shooting star? Dang. As cool as that would be to steal, honestly, I have enough items. Let's use the Power Punch on Mario. <laughs> I'm just, at this point, trying to use a ton of items. Clear up the inventory space. Okay, that did absolutely nothing to him. And now we can kill him very easily. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, hey! They dropped the Shooting Star anyways. Man! This, I forgot how many items you get in the x Not Fortress, but this is cool. I know I could go back up to the first floor. Ouch. z yuxes are back. Let's get rid of him first. He shrunk us? How dare he. So we need someone who packs a wallop. Vivian packs a wallop. Oh, <laughs> and she's not shrunk! <laughs> well, that just works out great. You go, Vivian. So yeah, watch out for the Uxes, they have ranged attacks. Hmm, this is interesting. Also, I kind of want that up there. Yeah. I wonder where this goes. Well, everybody, we're back in Rogueport Sewers. We're underneath Rogueport! The x Knots used that fiend to come here from the moon! It's a nice handy little shortcut we have here now. I forgot that it was on that sub-level. I thought this was kind of in, uh, near the bottom. I 
here's the thing, I really want that gear. But there's no way to get that from this room. Yeah! That's right. The enemies re have respawned now because I technically left the world. That's not good. Uh oh. X not PhD's gonna super shroom. That's okay. Close to a level up anyway, so I might as well use some FP. Get out of here. Oh, look, you've got the Yuxas in the tanks, they're just really tiny. Oh, wow, a regular old Yux. been a while since we've seen them. Well, <laughs> fire jinx again! Fire jinx is just such a good move. And that gives us a level up. Let's go BP again. We officially have more BP than you can have in the original game. Okay, so I do have both the damage dodge badges on. Okay. I don't really need first attack for here, anyways. Nor do I need hammer throw anymore, so I'll unequip all those and equip a defend plus. Oh ho, do you see that? Hole in the ceiling. That's a pretty good secret if I do say so myself. Uh, we could go down there. But actually, I want to go back here. There's so many different vents. And of course, Starpy's back there. So let's try falling down a bunch of these. So this one drops us actually on the conveyor belt, which is pretty cool. We've already fought him, so no point in fighting him again. Same with that dude. So we could go back in that vent door, but we're gonna keep going. How to activate the switch. Left, right, middle. Do not forget. Today's code is 014029. Do not forget it. Well, I'm just going to take a picture of that, so that way I don't have to remember all this. This code 014, blah, blah, blah. Cool. I love that. So that's where the rightmost drain takes you. It takes you back into it here. Hang on. There is an Easter egg in one of these. Oh well. We'll get there. Ah, shoot. I'm not great at first striking enemies with a hammer. Well, um, what do you say we art attack this? Perfect. <laughs> Get out of here. Ooh, they still get free star points apiece. That's awesome. And they give us a Thunder Rage, which actually might come in handy. This is Grotus's room. And you may remember, yep, there's this guy. This is the only point in the game where this enemy appears, so make sure you tattle.
That's an Exeox. I hear this is read as Crossyox and not as Exeox. Oh, really? Anyway, this is a new Yox designed to protect extra important areas. They were designed to be unbeatable. They're not. Max HP is 10, attack is free, and defense is 1. It can produce too many Exeoxes at once. And it has an excellent success rate of immobilizing opponents. We gotta do something about that if we're gonna win. I'll try. And of course, Fog appears. I had to let them produce the mini Crossyuxes so I could tattle. That's a mini Crossyux. It lives to protect the Crossyux. Up to four can guard the Crossyux. Max HP is one, attack is zero, and defense is zero. You can't attack the main unit until you clear these po annoying pests out. So use multiple strikes attacks to take them all out at once. That's probably a good idea, but unfortunately, since it's just going to make more, Mario's just going to wave to the crowd. There we go. Well, actually, Goombella can use the item. Thunder Rage. That'll take out those mini ones. And we can defeat this guy. That's actually not a lot of star points, but again, it's not a terribly tough enemy. It just looks intimidating. And now we can sneak into Grotus's room. And apparently Grotus is not here. And we need to do that to get the card key, a card key that opens the door in the x not base. So we actually have two different card keys now. Also, I love this background music. I love the cyber feel of it. Alright. Whoop! Back up here. And let's go down this vent. Nice little Easter egg. Also, <laughs> that's all your partners are 8-bit. You've got, uh, wow, Goombella looks different. Koops, Flurry, your Yoshi, Vivian, Bobbery, and Miss Mouse. It's pretty cool. Pretty much all of the Mario RPG games have an 8-bit Mario Easter egg. Not important, but I wanted to show it off anyways, because it's funny. Alright, so this is the reason we actually need uh, to go up here. Come on. Because now we can fall down here and get us the cog. A cog needed to operate the crane. Alright. Now we can go back up to the sub-level 1. Because now we've got the cog needed to operate the crane, and we also have the code that lets us access that secret door. <laughs> and <laughs> dismounting the Yoshi results in a first strike. In your faces, x knots I like actually how the original x knots still appear in this area. Because it does make sense, since they're seen all over the place. Okay. Put the cog there. Now we need to power it up. And remember, it's left, right, middle. And now we can play the crane game. Which lets us get free things we need. The crane will move left for as long as you hold down A. Then the crane will move backward for as long as you hold down B. Use the crane well to get the stuff you want. 
So we hold down A. Now we hold down B. And that should get us the star piece we want. And this is actually the last star piece in the entire game. Final star piece. That's pretty cool. You can get the coins as well, but it's completely not worth it to get the coins. It's kind of interesting how both of those badges you get so late in the game that when they really don't help you all that much. That's alright, though. I don't think that's the sound badges make when they drop on the ground, but... We get the Feel and Fine badge. Makes Mario immune to poison or dizziness. Wait, that's it? That's not even that good. I thought it was all status effects. Oh, forget that. <laughs> that's pretty much not worth it. Maybe for, like, one floor in the Pit of 100 Trials. This crane game is thankfully much more forgiving than most crane games, both in video games and in real life. And that's the feel and find P badge, makes your partner immune to poison or dizziness. Not great badges, if I'm being perfectly honest. Because I fit. Oh, actually, let me check. They take 4 BP a piece? Oh, forget that nonsense. You could almost get a defend plus for that much. Oh, hey, dude. Uh, hmm. Do, 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 do. What am I worried about? Actually, I could have just used regular hammer for that. <laughs> oh, that poor X knot. Because quick change, baby. Okay, please enter the access code. Gotta pull up the photo I took. Alright, it is... 014-029. Access code accepted. Noise. Well, this looks familiar. Who are you, huh? You came here to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room. Yeah, I thought so. Well then, you're gonna have to beat me to get it! And if you lose, your life is MINE, you hear me? MINE! So what do you say? Challenge this chump! mm <laughs> ha you're mine now. And here we go, folks! The main event, the 66th annual Quirk Quiz! Yay! It was the 65th before in this game, and the 64th in the first game, so this is pretty cool. <laughs> if you get five correct answers to the following questions, then you win, win, win! But if you get just three wrong answers, you're toast! You don't want to be toast, folks. Well, what are we waiting for, huh? Here we go! Question number one. Exactly what's hidden here. Uh, you already told me it's the elevator key. Are you sure about that? Yes. Yeah, You're correct, crud. But that was an easy one. You won't do so well on the next one, I guarantee that. Here we go, sucker. Now question number two. What's the name of the girl in Pedalburg who's waiting patiently for Koops' return? That's Koopy <laughs> Flavio. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say Flavio. You sure about that? Yeah. I wanna lose. Mm-hmm, ha ha, wrong, 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 you're dumber than dumb. Remember free strikes and you're out, loser. Mm-hmm, ha ha, here's the next one. Now question three. Goomba, Lava Bubble, Buzzy Beetle, and Boo. How many feet do they have 
total six feet. D feet. <laughs> that was a good answer. <laughs> yeah, you're correct, crud. But that was an easy one. You won't do so well on the next one, I guarantee that. Here we go, sucker. We're on to question four. It's elementary. Fanon, idiots! Where was the one, the only diamond star? That was in Hooktail's belly. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Yeah, you're correct, crud. But that was an easy one. You won't do so well on the next one, I guarantee that. Here we go, sucker. And now question five. What was the name of the very first champion at the Glitzville Arena? That would be Prince Mush. Yeah, you're correct, you jerk. You've already gotten four correct? You're kidding me. Well, fine, I'm gonna toss an extra hard one your way. You happy now, sucker? Now for question six. What did Francesca and Frankie from Rogueport lose on Keel Hall Key? <laughs> A bween. <laughs> you sure about that? Yeah. Let's be honest, they're into bween. Oh, you're so very foolish. So wrong it hurts me. One more slip and you're done for, Junior Nerd. Just one more. <laughs> Here we go. Here's our last question. What number question is this? <laughs> it's question six. Mmm, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> You've got three wrong answers. Better not be instant game over. That would be terrible. Mmm, <laughs> Time for your punishment round, Mr. Wrong. Win this fight and I'll give you the elevator key anyway, but what are the chances? Listen, you have no chance, but do your best because it amuses me. Wait, that's- this is it? Two cross yuxes? I was expecting, like, pit of a hundred trials enemies. Oh, at this. I don't think that can damage any of us, because we all have to then plus. Fiery Jinx! Goodbye, Cross Yuxes! <laughs> I was actually worried it might be an instant game over if you got them all wrong. No! No! You beat my cute little underlings! How could you? Grah! Jerk, just take this and go, and if you ever wonder, know that I hate you. Alright, whatever, man. Well, that was a little rude. And we get the elevator key, a card key that operates an elevator in the Xnot base. We know where to take that, don't we, Vivian? I think we might be halfway through the fortress now. Sub level 2, there's the second elevator that requires the different elevator key. Please insert the elevator key. There you go. Choose your destination. Sub level 3, please! Actually, never mind. We're more than halfway through the dungeon. This is pretty much the last sub-level, because the basement just has Peach's room. Which, if you are wondering, no, we can't save Peach if we go to the fourth floor. She's not there. Mmm, well... This should be amusing. Let's stop watching. Alright, so it didn't affect the Elite x Not I kinda didn't think it would, but the other guys have a hilarious pose, so it's okay. Ooh, foolish move, Elite. And it strikes me, we've used Fiery Jinx a lot, let's show off... Coops' final move, because it pierces defense. Shell Slam! Strike all ground enemies piercing their defenses. Repeatedly tilt the control stick to the left. So it's like bows. Blam! Oh, that actually looks sweet. Nice job, Coops! 
Actually, how much FP does it take to do that? Oh, six. Same as Fiery Jinx. Wow, that's not good. Fiery Jinx is, like, better than that in pretty much every way. What's through this door? Okay, this one, I believe it's, like, a snake game. Yeah, it's like a snake game. You can't get ahead of it. Poor Vivian, I'm sorry. Man, this must be such a pain for even the X-Knots to get through. It's just like, why did Grotus insist on making this block snake go backwards? I don't know. If Grotus wanted it to be really difficult, he'd only have two. Two tiles lit at a time. Alright. Another card key! A card key that opens a door in the x Not base. I have three of them now. Oh yeah, I think they're all used at the end. Maybe that's why. We get the HP drain! Oh yeah, simultaneously attack foes and replenishes your own HP. That's actually a pretty good item, even at the end of the game. Hi, dude. I guess with the first attack badge, it could be pretty easy to just take out these guys. <laughs> nice aer aerial acrobatics, Mario. Oh, I've got really low FP. <laughs> Okay, maybe use an FP refilling item in this next battle. Or Sweet Feast! Oh, yep. Please insert the card key. So this is where the free card keys go. Ah, yes. This is the giant room of terror. Ouch! Vivian, my dear, please refill our FP with something. Fra frappe could be good. Yep, frappe is gonna be our best. Bet. Twenty. Okay, yeah, those freeze you normally. And now we can just heart attack these guys. Still haven't used Sweet Feast and only used a uh, Power Lift that one time to humiliate Rock Hawk. Nice going, Vivian. Even though I was the one who did that. So this is kind of a cool room, filled with puzzles. So we can hit that switch. That's going to start the conveyor belt. We can paper eyes to get for that. Oh, that's right. That's why you need to start the conveyor belt. Then we got this platform here. It's a... Honestly, it's not too complicated once you know where to go. That's an Ultra Shroom up there. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an Ultra Shroom sighting. You don't want to fall. Falling is bad. Ultra Shroom! Can I get a Jam and Jelly here as well? Now we can actually jump onto this gear. Ride the gears onto this platform. Pretty cool. And those walls are solid, to my knowledge. So I don't think we can reach the pipe from here. Oh, 
Let's just ride the platform and see where we go. Because I actually don't remember. I think it takes us, yeah, beneath the, egg and, uh, the exit. And we can get the key card that way. Hi, you. A bonk. Okay, or maybe not a bonk. We should stop using Fire Jinx so much, because that does eat, if, when you use it a lot, it eats up a lot of FP. Oh, but lucky us. Okay, I think that's all the time we have for this episode, because I don't really want to keep releasing really long videos for this series. So thank you so much for watching, I'm Colorful Arnie. Tune in next time, we will finish this dungeon, fight the boss, get the last crystal star, and see what Peach and Bowser are up to. Hope to see you then, have a great day, and God bless!